binary arithmetic operations. What is meant by binary arithmetic operations? It is arithmetic operations done over binary numbers. Namely, we have addition. This is the first thing. Addition, it has rules. These rules are 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 0, and there is a carry 1. These are the binary additions rules. Binary subtraction, 0 minus 0 is a 0. The 0 minus 1 is a 1, because this is less than 1. So we have to make a borrow, so this becomes a 1, 0. A 1, 0 minus 1 is 1, after borrowing. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. The multiplication rules, 0 multiplied by 0 is 0. Actually, anything multiplied by 0 is 0. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. Let's look into binary addition. Binary addition. Like decimal numbers, two numbers can be added by adding each pair of digits together with, this, with the carry propagation. Okay, let's add these two numbers. This number and this number. 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Assuming the carry was 1 before the addition. 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 with the carry 1. Now this carry is added to this one and this one, and the result is 1, 1, 1 with a carry. And this carry is added to these two bits, so we get a 1 with a carry 0. And 0 plus 1 plus 0 is a 1 with a carry 0. Adding these two three numbers, we get a 0 with a carry 1, adding these three numbers will get a, a 1 with a final carry of 0. Okay, let's look at binary subtraction. Two numbers can be subtracted by subtracting each pair of digits together with the borrowing. Okay, this number is decimal 25. This number is decimal 9. 25 minus 9 is supposed to give me a decimal number of 6. Let's see. 1 minus 1 is 0. I did not borrow anything because this is equal to that. Okay. 0 minus 1, this is less than this. So we have to borrow from this 0, which doesn't have. So we go to this one. We borrow this one. This becomes a zero. And we come here. This becomes a one zero. We borrow one, so it becomes a one. And this one comes here. One zero is two. Minus one is one. One minus zero is equal to one. Zero minus zero is equal to 0 and 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Let's see this result. This result. This number represents 2. The weight of this number is 2. The weight of this number is 4. So this whole number here is 2 plus 4 which is 6. Okay, binary multiplication. Binary multiplication. There's something called the multiplier. This is called the multiplier. In this example, the multiplier is 21 in decimal. And we have the multiplicand. The multiplicand in decimal is 25. This is the binary representation of 25. And this is the binary representation of 21. Okay, how do we do the multiplication? 
we take the first digit of the multiplier, which is 1, and we multiply it by the multiplicand, and we get this number, which is the multiplicand. All right, the second digit is a 0. So we multiply it by the mul multiplicand, so we get a 0 here. We get a 0 here. All right, in this position. We made a shift, one position, right? Okay, then we say take the digit 1, multiply it by the multiplicand, we get this number with a shift to the left, and then the 0 is, all right, this is 0, and this is a 0, and then we multiply the 1 with the multiplicand, we get this number. So now we add the partial products, these are called the partial products, we add them together, 1 and then a 0 and then a 1 1 and a 0 is a 1 1 0 1 is 0 with a 1 1 and 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 1 is 0 with the final carry equal to 1. Now, if you multiply 25 by 21, the decimal answer is 525. Is this the binary representation for this number? Yes. Okay, this here is the weight is 512. 512. And this here is 8. 4, 1. Add the 1, 4, 8 to 512, you get 525. Let's take another example on the division. Divide this number, which is the binary representation of 54, by this binary number, which is 9. Okay, this here gives you 0 because it's less than this number. 1, 1 also gives you a 0. These three numbers give you a zero because they are less than this number. Okay, then we add this fourth digit. So this here gives a one. One div uh, multiplied by nine is nine. We subtract, we get this number. We take this one down and we get this new number. We divide it by this. We get another one. Okay, multiply it, you get a zero. You are left with this zero divided by this number is equal to zero. And this number is equal to six. 54 divided by nine is equal to six. So Actually, I found a nice explanation two? for the binary, uh, binary division. I, find, one zero, I found zero, a nice one, piece one, of one. video on the YouTube, by. which explains one, the long one. division for binary How numbers. So I answer? present it here for you. So the first number on the left is the dividend. And we're dividing it by the divisor. And this will give us the answer, also known as the quotient. We need to set it up as a long division problem. On the inside, you need to put the dividend. On the outside, the divisor. And at the top goes the quotient. And then you're going to get the remainder at the bottom. So we need to set up the problem like this. So we have the binary number 1, 1, the divisor on the outside. On the inside, the dividend 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Now the quotient has two possibilities. The numbers on top can either be a 0 or a 1. So how can we tell which one it's going to be? So first, let's compare the binary number 1, 1 and the first one, 1. 1, 1 is greater than 1. The binary number 1, 1 is 2 plus 1, which is 3, which is greater than 1. So therefore, 1, 1 doesn't go into 1. 3 doesn't go into 1. You could say 3 goes into 1 zero times. Now the next number we need to look at is these two, 1, 0. 
one one is greater than one zero. One one is three, one zero is two. Three goes into two zero times. Now we need to look at the next one. One zero zero. One one is less than one zero zero. One one is three, one zero zero is four. So three goes into four at least once. So we could say one one goes into one zero zero one time because it's less than one zero zero. Now if we multiply one by one one, it's gonna give us one one. And so we need to subtract. Now we can't subtract a zero by one because that's gonna give us a negative number. And so we need to borrow a one changing this into a 0 and changing the 0 into a 2. Now we still need to do something here. Therefore we got to borrow a 1 from the 2, making that a 1 and making this a 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1 and then 1 minus 1 will give us 0. Now we need to bring down the 1. So notice that these two are the same. 1, 1 and 0, 1, 1 have the same value. So we can say that 1, 1 goes into 0, 1, 1 one time. 1 times this is just 1, 1. And subtracting it, we're going to get 0 and 0. Now if we bring down the next one, we can say that 1, 1 is greater than 0, 0, 1. And so 1, 1 goes into that number 0 times. Now we need to bring down the next one. And since these are the same, we could say that 1, 1 goes into 1, 1 one time. And so the remainder is 0. Once you get a remainder of 0, you could stop there, which means that this is the answer. Now let's confirm it. Let's make sure that we do indeed have the right answer. So 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, divided by 1, 1. Let's make sure that it's 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So let's write the numbers 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. Let's convert it into its decimal equivalent. So we have 32 plus 4, which is 36, plus 2, 38, plus 1. That's 39. And this is just associated with 2 and 1. Since we have a 1 for each, that's 2 plus 1, which is 3. Now, 39 divided by 3, that's 13. So let's confirm that. Let's write the same numbers 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. So we have a 1 next to the 8 and the 4 and the 1. 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1, that's 13. So we can see that our answer does correspond to its decimal equivalent. Okay, this is an exercise for you to solve. Okay, what is the multiplication of these two numbers in binary? And perform the following addition, subtraction, subtraction.